Who's ready for some adhesive impregnation? I find you very rude. <laughs> For this video, I'm going to be restoring a classic piece. But before I get to work, since no one's around, I'm going to perform an interpretive dance. By the way, I've got my officially licensed workman's apron on, just in case you thought I was an impasto. I'm often asked if the size of a painting ever comes into my decision as to whether or not to perform any conservation work on it. This here is a painting, it's very large, and before I start, Oh no. Now, because of its weakened state, I really don't want to handle this work directly, so I'm going to summon the Guardian of the Watchtower of the North to get it to my workstation. So, painted in 1909, this is an authentic monet. Uh, this is two people walking by a church. Or it could be Big Ben. I don't know, is Big Ben a church? Looks like a church. Anyway, the painting is very valuable. This painting had an absolute hack job done by the previous conservator. So first... Oh shit. Now, because this is such an old painting, I really want to take my time with it. Oh f My client wanted the work done in 48 hours, so I told her frankly to suck my butt. I'll be working with a base color, then taking a step back and returning to the piece to see my progress. I really don't want to use this crappy, murky brown color. That would be inappropriate. My client asked me to correct the gaze in the gentleman's eyes. Oh, gaze, not the gaze. Now that that's completed, I want to get to work on the lady walking alongside him. As a conservator, it's not appropriate to overpaint, only correct what time is taken away from the image. It's not my job to change aspects of the original work. It's also a good idea to vary my work medium to get a better result. Oh my gosh, look at that. That! Oh my god. Calm down, Julian. My client Valerie is arranging a Zoom call later on to check on my progress like I don't have anything better to do. Now, even though this varnish is fully reversible, in case conservators in the future want to undo my work, unlikely, I'm still being extra cautious to make sure the all-important first stroke is executed precisely in one clean sweep. <gasps> As a conservator, I rarely work from a life subject, but I find it often helps to mix up my practices to get a better overall result. Sometimes I even sit for myself. You know, I once went to Minneapolis, and when I was there, I met a young farmhand called Clyde. Now, Clyde had a grandmother who died of septicemia. Clyde told me that his grandmother was treated by a doctor who came from Belarus, which is a country next to Russia, and that's where the Red Square is, which is perfect because this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Ah, oh, yes, Julian's seamless transition. Now, I could easily work for days on this painting, so it's good to set it down and take a break. Oh, it's a jolly holiday when I'm with you, Birch. My client also asked me to identify the varnish used in the previous conservation work because she's a nosy whore. And in my findings, I discovered something rather alarming. Valerie. Stepping away from the other painting, I decided to work on this figure using an Italian technique called trattegio to give the lady uh, beautiful, big bouncing boobies. Here's me at my sucky air table that I built from scratch to prove to my roommate that I actually could. She's another huge B.I. So making sure it's sucking air out like a hooker with a wind damaged esophagus, the painting will stay here overnight. Shit. Shit. The previous conservator made a giant boo-boo and used staples when you really only want to use tacks. Don't be a dickhead and use staples. Now for some macaroni. I'm just having some fun here. Oh, a uh, uh, pipe cleaner. Gonna nicely frame, nicely frame the boobies. Put that down. God, this is exciting. 
I think I'm going to use some varied sort of sequins here to maybe just threaten some nipples and pour some down over the dress as well. That's looking good, yeah. And here is the finished work. So then, <laughs> this is the like thickest beard I've had in the longest time. Yeah, I didn't let her shave it. We well, can't, because Julian Baumgartner has a night a full virile beard. <laughs> Why? Because he is a handsome gentleman. God, he's hot, isn't he? Yeah. He's married though. We have you spy his finger in <laughs> in his videos, and he spy is spy his finger. He's married, and that is very selfish. <laughs> Okay, so that was our Baumgartner restoration uh, parody. If you're watching this, I can't imagine you don't know who that is because his videos are all over YouTube and they are just the most relaxing, sensual. <laughs> I think just, you need some time alone. It's fine content, very, very fine. If you um, hadn't noticed, um, that was Olympia doing the voiceover <laughs> with myself acting as the one and only Julian Baumgartner. Bumgardner. There's never been a better way to marry our two, like the both of us in one kind of like really neat package. So that was really, I think we hit it out of the park there. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Julian, if you're watching this, hi, hello. We love hi. you. We love you. I'm going to throw my knickers at you. So there's going to be a couple of short clips of this on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow us just here. And if you could share them around and tag um, Baumgartner Fine Art Restoration. So tag him. Um, the lovely Julian can see this. That would be great. Yeah. I, I would just love, love a response. I, 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 I'm not really sure How? what his response would be. <laughs> No, but we've done it out of love, Julian, because we yes. adore you. Um, all of our parodies are done out of love. That's our love letter to you, Julian. Thank you so much for watching. Social media, yeah. Okay, there's a message afterwards if you want to join the Patron mm. Novimpia cult lifestyle. Stick around, subscribe, and uh, oh, cheers then. Bye. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And a big bum gardener to our brand new patrons, Andrew Nearis, Sophie Burling, Ryan Beatty, Anna Borshin, Liam Pennock, Chasen Grinnell, Sailor Neptune, Anthony Kilty, Jeannie Neville, Graham O'Sullivan, Aya Kiyoko, and Matty Willow. Join our Patreon, make your parents not proud.